Iran, a nation with a complex and storied history, has often found itself at the center of global attention due to its geopolitical significance and military developments. Recently, the country has once again shocked the world by unveiling four futuristic weapons that promise to reshape the balance of power in the Middle East and beyond. These advancements demonstrate Iran's growing technological capabilities and its determination to assert its sovereignty and influence. The following paragraphs delve into each of these weapons, exploring their potential impact and the reactions they have elicited from the international community. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The first of these groundbreaking weapons is an advanced drone, which Iran has named the Sayake-2, or Thunderbolt-2. This drone represents a significant leap in unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV technology, featuring enhanced stealth capabilities, extended range, and increased payload capacity. Unlike its predecessors, the CK-2 is designed to evade radar detection, making it a formidable asset in reconnaissance and combat missions. The drone's ability to carry various payloads, including precision-guided munitions, allows it to strike targets with high accuracy. This development has raised concerns among military analysts, who fear that such drones could be used to destabilize the region further. The SEK-2's unveiling sends a clear message that Iran is capable of producing sophisticated military technology independently, challenging the technological superiority of other regional powers. The second weapon in Iran's new arsenal is the Fateh 313 missile, a surface-to-surface -surface missile with remarkable accuracy and a range of up to 500 kilometers. The Fateh 313 is an upgraded version of the earlier Fateh models, incorporating advanced guidance systems and improved propulsion. This missile is capable of striking targets deep within enemy territory, providing Iran with a powerful tool for both deterrence and potential offensive operations. The precision of the Fateh 313 is particularly noteworthy, as it reduces the likelihood of collateral damage and increases its effectiveness against high-value targets. The international community, particularly Israel and the Gulf states, has expressed alarm over the potential deployment of such missiles, which could shift the strategic balance in the region. The Fateh 313 exemplifies Iran's commitment to enhancing its missile capabilities, a key component of its military strategy. Next in line is the Bavar 373 air defense system, which has drawn comparisons to the Russian S-300 and even the more advanced S-400 systems. The Bavar 373 is a mobile long-range surface-to-air missile system designed to detect, track, and destroy incoming aircraft, drones, and missiles. It features a phased array radar that can simultaneously track multiple targets and engage them with high precision. The system's mobility ensures that it can be rapidly deployed and repositioned to protect strategic assets across the country. The Bavar 373's development highlights Iran's determination to defend its airspace against potential threats, including those from technologically advanced adversaries. By unveiling this system, Iran aims to demonstrate its ability to protect its sovereignty and deter aerial incursions further complicating the strategic calculations of its adversaries. The fourth and perhaps most surprising weapon is the Hoot Torpedo, an advanced underwater missile capable of reaching speeds up to 200 knots. The Hoot, which translates to whale in Persian, is a supersonic torpedo designed to target and destroy enemy vessels with unprecedented speed and force. Its speed makes it nearly impossible for traditional naval defenses to intercept, posing a significant threat to warships and submarines. The Hoot's development is a testament to Iran's growing expertise in naval warfare, a domain that has often been dominated by Western powers. The introduction of this torpedo into Iran's arsenal could alter naval strategies in the Persian Gulf and beyond, challenging the dominance of the U.S. Navy and its allies in the region. The unveiling of these four futuristic weapons has sent shockwaves through the international community prompting a range of reactions from awe to alarm. For Iran, these advancements represent a significant achievement, underscoring its capability to develop sophisticated military technology despite international sanctions and isolation. These weapons serve both as a deterrent to potential aggressors and as a statement of Iran's resolve to defend its interests and sovereignty. In Israel, the reaction has been particularly intense, 
with military and political leaders expressing deep concern over the potential threat posed by these new weapons. Israel, which has long viewed Iran as its principal adversary in the region, is likely to accelerate its own military advancements and seek further assurances from its allies, particularly the United States. The development of the Sayak-2 drone and the Fateh 313 missile in particular poses a direct challenge to Israel's security, given their potential to reach Israeli territory and critical infrastructure. The Gulf states, including Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, have also expressed alarm over Iran's new military capabilities. These countries, which have had strained relations with Iran for decades, view the unveiling of these weapons as a destabilizing factor in an already volatile region. They are likely to respond by enhancing their own military capabilities and seeking closer security cooperation with Western powers. The introduction of the Bavar 373 air defense system and the Hoot torpedo adds a new dimension to the strategic dynamics in the Persian Gulf, where naval and air power play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of power. The United States, which has a significant military presence in the Middle East, is closely monitoring Iran's military advancements. American military and intelligence officials are assessing the potential impact of these new weapons on U.S. forces and interests in the region. The development of the Hoot torpedo in particular poses a significant challenge to the U.S. Navy, which relies on its technological superiority to maintain maritime dominance. The Sayk-2 drone and Fateh 313 missile also represent potential threats to U.S. bases and allies in the region, prompting a reassessment of American defense strategies. Russia and China, both of which have complex relationships with Iran, have taken a more measured approach to the news. While both countries are likely to view Iran's advancements as a counterbalance to U.S. influence in the region, they are also mindful of the potential for increased instability. Russia, which has sold advanced military technology to Iran in the past, may see opportunities for further cooperation, particularly in areas where Iranian technology complements Russian systems. China, which has significant economic interests in Iran, will be keen to ensure that these developments do not disrupt its strategic investments and energy supply routes. For Iran, the unveiling of these weapons is not just about military capability, it is also a powerful statement of national pride and resilience. Despite years of international sanctions and economic hardship, Iran has demonstrated its ability to innovate and develop advanced technologies. These weapons are a testament to the country's determination to maintain its sovereignty and defend its interests against external pressures. They also serve as a signal to the Iranian people, reinforcing the government's message of strength and self-reliance. The Sayak-2 drone, with its advanced stealth capabilities and precision strike potential, underscores Iran's growing expertise in unmanned aerial systems. This technology has the potential to change the nature of warfare in the region, allowing Iran to conduct surveillance and strikes without risking manned aircraft. The Fateh 313 missile, with its extended range and pinpoint accuracy, enhances Iran's ability to deter and respond to threats, providing a credible counterbalance to the military capabilities of its adversaries. The Bavar 373 air defense system represents a significant leap in Iran's ability to protect its airspace from advanced threats. By developing a system comparable to the Russian S-300, Iran has demonstrated its capacity to produce sophisticated defensive technology. This system will make it more challenging for any adversary to conduct air operations over Iranian territory, enhancing the country's overall security posture. The Hoot torpedo, with its supersonic speed and devastating impact, adds a new dimension to Iran's naval capabilities. This weapon challenges traditional naval defenses and could significantly alter the strategic balance in the Persian Gulf. By introducing such advanced technology, Iran is asserting its presence in a domain traditionally dominated by Western naval powers. The unveiling of these four futuristic weapons by Iran has indeed shocked the entire world. These advancements demonstrate Iran's growing technological prowess and its determination to assert its sovereignty and influence in a complex and volatile region. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, are you surprised by Iran's new weapons? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.